good morning friend today we are going to learn a poem entitled the epileptic the poem is written by kikian darwala darwala is an indian poet and short story writer in english as a writer he was awarded the sahitya academy award in 1984 for his collection of poetry the keeper of the dead but there is a controversy regarding this award in 2015 he returned the award to protest by saying the statement that the organization sahitya academy award has failed to speak out against ideological collectives that have used philosophical violence against authors he was awarded padma shri the fourth highest civilian award in indian in 2014 his full name is kk nasarwanji daruwala he born in lahore to a farsi family in 1937 his father was an eminent professor who taught in government college lahore before the partition of india his family left undivided india in 1945 and moved from place to place and lastly settled in rampur as a result of their regular moving from one place to another he grew up studying in various schools and in various languages he obtained his masters degree in english literature from government college Ludhiana University of Punjab He spent a year at Oxford as a Queen Elizabeth House fellow in 1980 and 81 What is we can say a uh, more important as a writer in his life is that he joined the police force or police service in 1958 his work as a police officer offered him various opportunities to work in different party of the country and to face the harsh realities of life from which he drew the substance for his poetry he has written 12 books and his first novel for paper and crisp was published in 2009 he received commonwealth poetry for his collection of poems landscape in the year 1987 now we are going to see the introduction of this particular poem the title of this poem is the epileptic we will see what is the meaning of the title but before that we will see what are the features or what are the good or what what is this poem in a nutshell his poetry has traveled a long way both formally and thematically means his poems are rich at the level of its form and also at the level of themes see what are the features of his poetry irony is one of the most important feature of darwala's poetry multilayer realities of indian life second feature treatment of diverse cultural historic and mythic landscape a tersely vigorous and tensile style supple imagism and a sustained narrative drive are the strong distinguishing 
characteristics found in his poem these are the characteristics of his poem these are the features of his poem another remarkable feature of his poetry is its ability to establish abstractions vividly in order to strike an artistic tension between image and statement means he visualizes the incidents through the word from his poetry his poetry has the narrative energy and swift to create a large canvas along with the eye of a miniaturist for details a frighteningly matter of fact snapshot of a woman having an epileptic fit the following poem is brutal and tender at the same time see this poem epileptic is a brutal and also a tender at the same time it is a poem about violence at many levels what kind of violence is there the violence of one's own body turning against you one kind of violence the violence of one's own body turning against you the violence of being in the public eye and the violence of being poked and prodded by doctors it is also a poem about what happens in our country when someone has an accident or a fit in public see in this slide we are going to see the summary of this poem the epileptic is a poem written by indian english poet k k andarwala he is a poet of great literary stamina intellectual strength and social awareness epilepsy is a nervous disease epilepsy is a nervous disease causing a person unconscious often with involuntary movements in the poem a pregnant woman got this violent fit while she was traveling in a rickshaw by the grace of god her pregnancy was safe but her two children were frightened the rickshaw puller was guilty because it was happening in his rickshaw the face of the epileptic became a mound of flesh her husband was making vain efforts he tried to open her mouth wide plucked out her receding tongue and put a gag into her mouth to keep it open gag means a kind of a cloth in her mouth the traffic on the road came to an inquisitive halt inquisitive halt means came suddenly to help that woman they wants to know what happened there the crowd were anxious they joined to help the woman some people fan her some rubbed her feet they tried their best to summon back her senses a pedestrian means a passer by what sir commented that her violent fits were cyclic in nature they visit her repeatedly whenever she was in her menses she was not hysteric she did not talk violently a simmering foam was coming out of her mouth the woman was taken to the hospital after a long discussion and tests the doctors diagnosed the disease as psychomotor epilepsy after much fuse they prescribed common drugs like belladonna and perade peraldehyde finally she recovered from her fit 
she was pale and completely exhausted the last sentence of the poem is charged heavily with irony until now the wife shook but now it is the turn of the husband to shake the shake of the husband may be from the thought about the excessive hospital fees now we are going to study the poem stanza by stanza see once again i have given the meaning of the title here at the top of this slide epileptic means a person who suffer from epilepsy what is epilepsy a disorder of the nervous system characterized by loss of consciousness and convulsions so this is the meaning of epileptic 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 means a person who lost his consciousness because of this disease so the title is epileptic so the title character is one lady in this poem she is pregnant she was traveling in a rickshaw with her there was her husband and two children and in that traveling she got that fit she became unconscious and at that time her both children are frightened her husband also become very terrific so it was on the road so that the passer by or so many people came there they are trying to help her they are commenting so many things someone are saying that it is a natural cyclic nature or something like that uh, some of them have rubbed her what we can say uh, fit and lastly they took the lady in the hospital when she reached in the hospital there was there there was too much fuse there was too much discussion in the doctor lastly they diagnose the disease and then they prescribe the tablet or what we can say the medicine and until now what happened that lady was moving she was shocking but now her husband got the shock he shook because there is a too much what we can say excessive fees of that hospital so this is the what we can say a summary in nutshell of this poem see now we are going to study this poem stanza by stanza suddenly the two children flew from her side like a severed wings thank god the burden in her belly stayed where it was see this is the first stanza and in the first sentence the poet have used the simile see two children are compared to the wings of the birds these two children have left their mother like the wings of the bird cut from the bird so in that way both children are so frightened and they ran away they suddenly go away from the lap of their mother the second sentence will make us aware make the reader aware that what is the subject of this poem see thank god the burden in her belly stayed where it was so we come to know that what is the problem who is that lady and why this epilepsy was there so it is a little bit shocking as a lady and she is a pregnant so such kind of disease is a shocking we got a shock as a reader the rickshaw puller was a study in guilt what is study means example of feeling a guilty feeling a guilty the rickshaw puller was a study in guilt it was too much for him the convulsionary and her frightened kids plundering about in a swarm of limbs see study means a guilty convulsionary means the person experiencing a fit means a fit or what we can say unconsciousness and in marathi we can say that kivasne so in that way the rickshaw puller was a study in guilty he was feeling 
सो गिल्टी सो बैड इट वॉज टू मच फॉर हिम बिकॉज इट इज शॉक टू हिम ही डिड नॉट ऑब्जर्व सच काइंड ऑफ एक्शन बिफोर इट द कन्वर्जनरी एंड हर फ्राइटन किड्स मीन्स द लेडी कन्वर्जनरी मीन्स अ लेडी सी वॉज इन द फिट सी बिकेम अनकॉन्सियस एंड हर फ्राइटन किड्स फ्लंडरिंग मीन्स दे बिकम अ कन्फ्यूज दे डू नॉट नो वॉट टू डू एंड वॉट दे आर डूइंग दे आर मूविंग लाइक अ स्वाम ऑफ लिम्स स्वाम मीन्स दे आर वॉट वी कैन सी ओवर इन अराउंड इन अ क्राउड दे आर मूविंग देअर दे आर कन्फ्यूज देअर सी अ फोकस इन द ब्रेन और सम सच फ्लैप द लुक हैड गॉन फ्रॉम द मदर साइज द वे हर चिल्ड्रन had a flown from her lap this is the third stanza and in this stanza poet is presenting the confusion of the crowd the confusion of the children her their frightened nature the frightened nature of also lady's husband see a focus in the brain or some such flap flap means a panic state a state of panic means a confusion a focus in a, in the brain or some such flap the look had gone from the mother's eyes the way her children had flown from her lap see this is also one metaphor poet have used or comparison is there that mother have lost her consciousness so suddenly that because of this fit she lost her consciousness suddenly as it is compare both children have flown away have gone away from the lap of her mother in that way they gone away suddenly in that way that mother have lost her consciousness so in that way this is a sudden movement from both from the children and from the conscious of that lady see in the next stanza the husband dug through the mound that was her face forced the mouth wide plucked out the receding tongue wrapped into a clotted wound and put a gag between her teeth in this stanza poet have presented what we can say a restlessness what we can say a trying of that lady's husband to recover that lady from her unconsciousness see the husband dug through the mound so he is trying to see the belly of that lady that was her force means it was the burden on that lady force the mouth wide pluck out the receding tongue he was trying to uh, what we can say trying to move her mouth wrap into a clotted wound and put a gag between her teeth gag means clotted means a drying in lump means a cloth gag a piece of cloth keeping in the teeth wrapped twisted means that uh, teeth are touched together and that um, what we can say tongue was there in the teeth and that's why her husband are making what we can say or trying his best to make the consciousness of that lady receding tongue going back or away see the traffic ground to an inquisitive halt a crowd senses a mischief before it sees one they fan her rubbed her feet and looked around see in this stanza poet have presented what we can say the reaction of the passer by the reaction of 
other passenger we can see the reaction of other people crowd in such an accident mischief means mischief means an accident so how they are reacting all of them have came there they some of them wants to help the lady some of them wants to know what happened there some of them just are looking some of them are helping that lady some of them are fanning her some of them are rubbing her feet and some of them are looking just around so such kind of a traffic is there these people are making crowd there so that incident is presented in this tunnel for other ways to summon back her senses a pedestrian whispered her scissors are cyclic they visit in her lenses see for other ways to summon back her senses they are there because they wants to means that crowd wants to summon back her senses they wants to make that lady conscious the passer by pedestrian means the person walking on the road means a passer by the person who is moving there a pedestrian whispered whispered means they are murmured her scissors scissor means a sudden attack in epilepsy are cyclic in nature they visit in her menses so menses means menstruation the time of menstruation so menses and it is natural for the lady who is a pregnant she has to face such a problem so it is a cyclic in nature according to some what we can say people in that crowd she was not hysteric she didn't rave her face was flush abstract the marionette head jerked from side to side a slave to cross pulse a thin edge of froth simmered round her lips like foam dregs left by a receding wave foam dregs see simmer boil gently means what we can see she is a red like uh, a thin as soft food means in this tanda poet have presented the what we can say the symptoms of that disease on the face and on the body of that woman see she was not hysteric she didn't rave to shut shout angrily means she is not angry her face was flush means there is a reddish what we can say symptoms on her face abstract she is confused that confusion we can see on her face the marionette means puppet she is like a puppet thinking herself head jerk from side to side she is moving her head a slave to cross pulls a slave to cross pulls she cannot move on her own way she is like a slave now others are moving her a thin edge of froth simmered boil gently means a little bit what we can say uh, um, we can say fever round her lips like foam dregs left by a receding wave see this is also a simile poet have used means a, there is a foam on her mouth and it is like a wave so that thing is presented in this tanga we can say poet have presented the movement of that what we can say unconscious lady when she going to be a conscious she is understanding something she is feeling her burden and she is also feeling what we can say that uh, 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 that unconscious trouble see the hospital doctors now she reached in the hospital so in this tanga we come to know that what will happen in the hospital so the hospital doctors phone phone means check with thought light words like petit mal were tied to the heavies petit mal means nothing happened just a one kind of a small disease in that way they are saying see a little illness little illness we are tied to the heavies psychomotor epilepsy a physician pointed out with pride 
the spike and wave electrical activity prescribed belladonna and peraldehyde peraldehyde see belladonna and peraldehyde are the drugs used to calm someone down Peral, peraldehyde a drug used to calm someone down belladonna a drug used to soothe the and calm see so doctor have observed her they have said that nothing happened it is a little illness don't worry what kind of illness it is they have said psychomotor epilepsy is the problem of this lady then they have given some medicine what are the medicine belladonna and peraldehyde are the medicines given to that lady by the doctors see just when he said he see isn't shaping too well she recovered bleach white and utterly red see means the doctor is saying she isn't shaping too well she recovered bleach bleach means made white or much lighter by a chemical process or sunlight means something she is going to be aware now white and utterly red as a limp awareness limp means a weak she is going to be know something now slouch to stand move or sit along her face i found it was the husband who was shaking so i found is the word means that i is a passer by observer is there and that observer who is away from this incident he was observing and that observer is presenting this incident to us and we are reading so speaker is not what we can say in this is the part of this poem but speaker is another character from this poem that's why in the last stanza last line we come to know that i found it was the husband who was shaking now what happened there is a excessive fees of that hospital and that's why that husband was in worried now 